Okay guys, today is a kind of a ranty video. They really think you're stupid. They think I'm stupid. They think we're all stupid. And this is not they think we're stupid because we're on the carnivore diet. This is they think we're stupid simply because they think we'll buy any solution to fix our problem. Now, the interesting thing is, since I've been on the carnivore diet, I've been following a lot of carnivore groups on Facebook. And as you know, one of the things that Facebook is really expert at, and actually most of the, most of the sites are expert at now, is working out what kind of interests you have and then targeting the advertising or telling the advertisers who want to target you what your interests are so that they can kind of more narrowly focus on who they're advertising. So rather than seeing ads for just general stuff like house cleaning equipment or, you know, the latest uh, business news or something like that, they can actually say, you know, this guy is interested in health and fitness, so we're going to show him a lot of health and fitness related ads. This person is interested in beauty, and so we're going to show this person lots of makeup related commercials, or we're going to show this person lots of brand related commercials, that kind of thing. All right. So um, in in a way, it's good, you know, like I'm I'm going to see ads that are actually more relevant to me. In a way, it's kind of scary because, you know, they they know a lot more about us and they're able to target us so much better. But I find that now that I'm following a lot of more health related groups related to carnivore, that some of the ads that I'm being targeted with are just ridiculous. And I wanted to talk about these kind of ads with you um, and see what you think. All right. So just before we get into it, guys, if you could do me a massive favor and smash like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. And uh, if uh, if you're interested in the supporting the channel further, you could become a channel member. Just click the join button under this video or the first link in the description. Thank you so much for that. Now, let's get into it. Now, what I've done, I've got a video here where I've mirrored my iPhone. And uh, the reason I've done that is because when I look at the ads on my iPhone, on my Facebook, on my iPhone, they're much more... Um, aggressive or the products they're promoting are much more aggressive and I think uh, the advertisers probably get a better re result on mobile and so um, the advertisers can can differentiate whether someone's on desktop or mobile so I think they they target mobile more heavily more aggressively more crazy ads maybe um, something like that so uh, let's let's just have a look. Um, I've got the pause button ready to stop whenever we get to some of these crazy uh, crazy related ads. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Facebook and uh, let's just scroll through this Facebook and uh, we'll have a look at what we can find. All right. As you can see, um, carnival group there. All right, so nothing in particular that's exciting at the moment. Uh, just going through a lot of carnivore-related material, as you can see, and some not. Um, but uh, let's keep going. Let's have a look. Uh, Mentor Pilot, that's a good channel if you're interested in planes. Of course, the, the time that I want to show you these crazy ads is when they don't appear, right? Okay, here we, so here we are. All right, now uh, this is an ad for um, real discomfort now. All right, so this is, there is a lot of misinformation out there. Yes, there is. There is indeed. Um, so this is about back pain and stuff. Let me just stop this for a second. All right, so this is about back pain, right? After two years of terrible back pain. I don't know what this says. If I click see more, it's going to take me through to the actual, um, the actual sales page. But um, basically, after two years of terrible back pain, I've finally found the solution. And the solution is to put something on the floor and roll my back on it or to, you know, wear roller skates on my head or, you know, it's <laughs> something like that, right? Um, or take these supplements that contain this natural extract from uh, an Indian tribe in blah, blah, blah. You know, it's, uh, it, it, it's all... Uh, BS. Anyway, so um, basically, 
when I'm looking at this, all I feel like saying now is, just stop eating garbage. Just stop eating garbage. Your back pain will most likely go away. You know, of course, some people might have conditions where it's more than something they're eating. But probably, I would say, 90% of things can be cleared up just by fixing your diet. 100%. Just fix your diet and it will fix everything. So, um, you know, the, again, this is... Uh, likely an ad for supplements or um, some kind of contraption that you attach to your back or something like that. But uh, it's all about diet. It really is. All right. What do we got here? No, no. I'm really interested in ecom. Um, okay. Frosties and eggs. Mm. Okay. Here we go. Now, here's one that I find particularly objectionable. And um, I find this particular uh, company particularly objectionable. The, the ads just never stop on my feet. So, and this is InnoSups. Uh, I, I think that's the way you pronounce it. And uh, the thing I just dislike so much about InnoSups, and we're going to see more of these later, is because uh, my feed is literally flooded with these ads, is, um, you know... It's a capsule containing some kind of uh, some kind of plant material that is going to improve everything for you, right? This one, nitro wood, um, it's going to uh, you know uh, help you with uh, with things, uh, but basically what it's going to do is uh, help you with accelerated blood flow. Accelerated blood flow. You know what you could do to improve your blood flow. Fix your diet. Stop eating the garbage in your diet and uh, stop eating all the sweet stuff. Stop eating all the potato chips and, and the potatoes and everything like that. And you know what's going to happen? Your blood flow will improve because you're not clogging your body up with all these horrible additives, preservatives and sugars. And I am very, very, very skeptical that uh, a capsule, a supplement, is going to improve things, you know. And if it actually improved things, how long would they be in business? Because they'd improve it for everyone on the planet and then no one would need to buy it anymore, you know. Anyway, let's keep going. Oh, oh, what's this? Soothenix. Experiencing stabbing foot pain, neuropathy, and stiff sore joints, struggling with these conditions? That can affect anyone, but it hits hardest on over 60 diabetics and those with high blood pressure. Okay, so we'll just pause that there on uh, this lady's foot. Okay, so you know how you fix diabetes and high blood pressure and nerve damage and all this kind of stuff? Just stop eating junk. Stop eating the sugar. Stop eating the, the plant matter that's causing you problems. And focus on eating a nutritional diet, a proper human diet, a diet that we are supposed to be eating. And guess what? All of these things just magically get fixed because you are causing yourself these problems by ingesting all these chemicals, garbage and sugars. I'm sorry, but when you've seen the light, it just seems so simple and it's just so frustrating to see these things and kind of feel like there's so many people are going to be spending hundreds and hundreds and thousands of thousands of dollars on this junk when all they need to do is clear out their cupboards. Go down to the local, whatever it is, the Costco or the Walmart or whatever it is, or the supermarket and just load up on meat. That's all they need to do. Load up on meat, load up on eggs, and then cut out all this garbage. And the problems will just go away. I slow down. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. I've got to pause this. Okay. More garbage from InnoSups. Okay. So trimming the waste has never been so easy. Oh, fantastic. I lost 12 pounds using Carb Cut Complete. It's a game changer. All right, so this is uh, it seems to be their kind of flagship product, right? Because this is the one that's most heavily advertised and the one that I see more than, you know, I see this daily on my feed. Um, and so what this is, is is a tablet that is going to stop you uh, 
uh, absorbing the carbs. So you take one of these little pills and or two or whatever the recommendation is. You take the number of these pills they recommend and then you can go to town. You can eat the pizza, you can eat the donuts, you can drink the Starbucks frappuccinos with the uh, the whipped cream and the cherries and the umbrellas and the, you know, chemicals and, and stuff. And nothing's going to be absorbed. It's all just going to flood out the other end. <laughs> Oh, what a terrible sight, um, a terrible thought. And it's all just going to flood out the other end. And, uh, you know, so it's going to block your carb absorption. It's going to curb your sugar cravings. So it's going to curb them. Then why does it need to block them as well? All right. This is a miracle. This is an absolute miracle. It's going to reduce belly fat and it's going to lower your blood sugar. This thing right the the thing that i always notice is there's always people reacting to it with a laugh so people are waking up to this right um i've never seen any bad comments on there but that may be because the the advertiser is going through and deleting those as they come in um but uh yeah there's always people laughing at the ad so like i think people are waking up to this and people are like yeah like this works um, but it's it's just so frustrating to know that there are businesses out there that are selling this. And I mean, literally, what is this? It's a bottle with a colorful label on it filled with some plastic containing some like plant matter. That's what it is. The, I mean, and they say, well, this is going to cut your carb cravings and this is going to stop you absorbing carbs. Yeah, I call BS. Um, this is, uh, yeah. I'd love to know what you think, though. So please let me know in the comments. All right. Let's keep looking um, and see what else we... Okay, here we go. My best heart. Unleash the power of red spinach's concentrated plant nitrates plus seven natural blood pressure R. Uh, lower blood pressure quickly and naturally. Uh, this is amazing. You know, if you want to lower your blood pressure, lose weight, you'll get this advice. Lose weight, cut salt, deep breathing, avoid stress. But none of that's going to work. The only thing that's going to work is what we found to work, which is red spinach concentrate. This magical ingredient that no one ever knew existed until we found out that we could get it really cheap and market it in a cheap plastic bottle so that uh, we could make a lot of money. And uh, once we realized that, we knew that this was the blood pressure cure for you. And so, you know, we're going to lower blood pressure quickly and naturally. 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 Okay. Um, so, you know the natural way to lower your blood pressure? Stop eating junk. Cut the carbs. Cut the sugar. Cut the junk. Cut the chemicals. Cut everything that's causing your blood pressure to go up. You don't need to cut the salt. You need to cut the junk. You need to cut the stuff that we shouldn't be eating because the stuff that we shouldn't be eating is the problem in 99.9% .9 of the cases, right? Your red spinach is going to do nothing for my situation except keep me hooked to your red spinach because I think one of these days I'm going to get some results. Or if I get a marginal improvement because some kind of placebo effect after I start taking your red spinach, I'm going to say, this is it. The red spinach concentrate is the way to go. And I'm going to become a customer for the next two or three or four years until things do start getting a little bit worse because I relax and start eating more junk. And, you know, there we go. We're right back into it. Anyway, guys, this has just been a quick look at some of the charlatans on uh, on Facebook, advertising on Facebook, trying to advertise their junk to us and uh, trying to sell us on solutions that don't and won't actually work. And I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.